In this video, we will be converting to millimoles. So for the first one, we have 2.35 liters of 0.147 molar NaOH, and we want to convert to millimoles. So let's do that. So we have 2.35 liters. Uh, we know that one liter would contain 0.147 moles of NaOH. We know this because molarity is moles over liter. So moles of NaOH. From here, we will convert moles of NaOH into millimoles because we know that one mole of NaOH would contain 1,000 millimole of NaOH. So now let's check our units. Liters cancel, moles cancel, and we just have millimoles. So using a calculator, we would get 345.45 millimoles. And now we can check sig figs. This has three sig figs, this has three sig figs, and so our answer would want to be in three sig figs. So we get 345 uh, millimoles, and we box in this answer. Now we'll do the second one. 179 milliliters of a solution contains 5.25 parts per million of NaOH. So, uh, so first we need to think, what is parts per million? So 5.25 parts per million of NaOH is equal to 5.25 milligrams of NaOH per liter. This is a little trick. Parts per million, we could say milligrams per liter. From here, we will apply 179 to ultimately get millimoles. So we can say 179 milliliters. We know that 1,000 milliliter is equal to one liter. And we know that one liter is equal to 5.25 milligrams of NaOH because it says so right here. From here, we convert milligrams into grams. 1,000 milligrams is equal to one gram of NaOH. From here, we use the molecular weight. The molecular weight for NaOH is 40 grams of NaOH per mole. So what we did here is we use a periodic table. We add Na plus O plus H and we got 40. So one mole of NaOH. Finally, we know that one mole of NaOH is equal to 1,000 millimoles of NaOH. So let's check our units. Milliliters cancel, liters cancels, milligrams cancel, grams cancel, moles cancel, and we have millimoles of NaOH. And so if we use a calculator, we would get 0.0235 millimoles of NaOH. And that's all we need to do for this problem.